Hey guys, we are doing it again. I'm gonna be sharing with you more makeup that I thought was so good, I had to run out and get more. Uh, I did this video, I don't know, maybe about a month ago, and a bunch of my friends here on YouTube did the same video. I was so excited to see this pop up on, in my feed, and my subscription feed in YouTube. So the concept of this video is a products that um, you, you know, maybe you got like one shade or two shades and you, you tried it out and you loved it so much you had to run out and get more or complete the collection or whatever it is. I'm gonna be focusing on, and I did the same in my first video, but I forgot to mention this, but I'm focusing on products that I purchased myself because, you know, I'm here on YouTube, I get a lot of PR, and when you receive PR, it's very... I guess easy to get like the whole range of something. So these are products that I purchased myself, loved so much, I had to run out and purchase more myself. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, but I'm gonna start with a product that I uh, mentioned in my first video, but they have since come out with new shades. Uh, I believe six new shades and I had to run out and get three of them. And so we're gonna be trying them on together. I don't have any lip product on now. So I'm talking about the um, Armani Beauty Lip Powers. Now, so I have seven of these, which means my latest acquisition <laughs> of three uh, more of these shades means I have 10 of these shades. So uh, let me go ahead actually and unbox the new ones. I'm gonna go ahead and do some lip swatches of these and then I will do like a full arm swatch of all the shades together so you can kind of compare. So the concept of these new shades, this uh, shade extension that Armani has given us for this wonderful lip power um, are nudes. So. I mean, you knew I was gonna be all over it. So this first shade I'm gonna try out is number 109, and the name is Intimate. Here is the shade. And um, if you haven't <laughs> seen any of the videos where I go on and on about these lip powers, or this last makeup is so good I needed more video, um, the reason why I love, love, love this lip power is they're like the perfect uh, like lipstick to me. I love all the shades that I've gotten so far. I really love the formula. It feels very creamy, it feels very soft and moisturizing, but they are like pretty long lasting. They're not like transfer proof or anything like that. They're not like liquid lipsticks, but they really last a lot longer than you would think considering how comfortable they feel. Um, and I also just love this bullet. It's pointy, it's a little bit smaller than the average lipstick bullet, and I just find it very, very easy to apply. So anyway, let's go ahead with 109. And again, you'll see it in the arm swatch that I'll share with you, uh, you know, with all the shades. But this is kind of similar to some of the nudes that I have, but it's peachier. The other nudes that I have are a little bit more neutral, a little bit more pink toned. This one is a little bit more peachy, and I really, Love it. You can probably see how creamy it is on my lips. If they're not drying or anything, they're just stupendous. Like I really, re obviously, really love this lip product and this formula. It's just incredible. Let's move on to, let's see, what are these other colors I got? I got 203, the name is Mystery. And here is Mystery. It is very obviously a little bit deeper than uh, the 109 that I just tried. Yeah, 109. And I love that it is, it's fairly neutral. It's not too red, it's not too orange. I just think it's, it kind of like sits right in the middle. Really nice. It has a little bit of like a burntness to it. Mm, love that. Mystery, 203 is the number. And then last but not least, I picked up 204 and the name is Magnet. And this one is deeper still probably one that I'll be wearing in the fall winter a little bit more than I would be now. There is Magnet. Mm. Very dramatic. I love it. I love it. This is a really, really deep brown with a little bit of red. There really isn't much blue. It's not like you get like a plum in there at all. It really is like a brown. Ooh, so that is 204 Magnet. Really nice. These shades really round out my collection. Uh, because, let me go ahead and swatch all of these for you, you'll see that uh, what I had before were some very deep reds and some neutral kind of like nude pinks. So this is really, really nice uh, rounding out. So here are all the swatches on my arm. So from left to right, we have 102, 104, 109, 201, 202, 203, 204, and then we have 301, 405, and then 500. 
All right, so that's the Armani Lip Powers. And then I have to say, just recently, I've come across a lot of makeup, makeup that's so good, I've had to go out and get more shades, but like a lot very recently. So you guys probably know what I'm talking about uh, when I say the RMS Redimension Hydra Blushes. I've talked about these probably in the last two videos that I've done, but I love these blushes. And um, there was quite a bit of hype around them. They sold out very, very quickly. I didn't get my hands on any of them. And then when they finally came back into stock, I was like, oh, let me pick up a couple. So I picked up uh, French Rosé and Maiden's Blush. So this is what the blushes look like. First of all, they come in a compact that is refillable. You can just pop the blush out uh, the back there. And they are a baked gelé product. They all have like this beautiful uh, kind of metallic sheen to them. They are very highly pigmented, but they blend out really, really beautifully. So I picked up Maiden's Blush and French Rosé first. And I'll do arm swatches of all of these as well. And then most recently I picked up Mai Tai and then I picked up Sangria. And Sangria is actually what I have on my cheeks today. I do have it over something else, which I'll talk about in just a second, but uh, this is the blush that you see over here. So that is Sangria and then Pomegranate Fizz. I mean, just gorgeous. These are so incredible. So let me go ahead and give you uh, swatches here. Okay, so from left to right, we have French Rosé, Mai Tai, Maiden's Blush, Pomegranate Fizz, and then Sangria. And again, Sangria is what I'm wearing on my face today. I love the finish of these blushes. I love the actual shades. I love the level of pigmentation. I really, really, really enjoy a bright blush. Um, but as you can see, if you apply it, because they're a baked formula, if you apply it uh, lightly, you will get like a really sheer wash. It's a little bit different than just like a straight up pressed powder uh, formulation where I feel like you have to be like really, really careful. A baked product has a little bit more of like a, a whisper to its application. And so I think these in the pan may look a little intimidating. They may look a little bit like too bright and too bold, but, and you can definitely build them up. But if you like just like a light wash of color, I think you can definitely achieve it with this particular formula. So I just know I'm gonna be using these nonstop. So those are the RMS uh, Redimension Hydra Powder Blushes. And then something else that I came across in that same haul where I was like introduced to these RMS blushes are the House Labs highlighters. <laughs> and I picked up Peach Quartz. So this is the first one that I picked up. And then as soon as I applied this, swatched it, played around with it for a little bit. I knew I had to go out and get another one. And what I was so intrigued by was how many different highlighter shades there were in this House Labs line. So I ran out and got Sunstone, which is a little bit lighter, uh, a little bit more neutral, cool toned versus Peach Quartz. So uh, here's some swatches of them. So first we have Sunstone on the left and then Peach Quartz on the right. It's a little bit hard to pick up highlight uh, through the camera because of the reflection, um, but hopefully you can see the very slight tonal difference. Now, do you need to run out and get both? Absolutely not. I think, you know, one would definitely suffice, but I really loved, loved, loved the peach quartz so much that yeah, I had to run out and get the sunstone. So I have the sunstone on today. That's what you see here. And yeah, there's just something about a really beautiful baked highlight that I love because it, I mean, it gives you that pow like that bam of a highlight but there still isn't you know the opacity that like a powder highlight can give you that'll make it look very stripy which i don't like it makes it like kind of hard to blend out when it's a baked formula like this i feel like again much like the blush you just get this really sheer veil of a color and i did build it up a little bit because i did want you guys to see it but it's buildable it's gorgeous i just love it I just love it. I love this formula and I love the different shades that she has, like the like slight nuances that she has with all of these different shades. So those are the, I don't think I give you the full name, the Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlight <laughs> from House Labs by Lady Gaga. And again, Peach Quartz and Sunstone are the two shades that I just had to have. Another product, again, that I just came across very recently, these are not new. 
They are new to me and I was actually pretty angry that I <laughs> never tried these earlier. These are the Merit Signature Lipsticks. And again, I purchased the first shade when I did my RMS and House Labs haul. It was like a Sephora try-on haul. I really got a lot of good stuff in that haul. So I first got Slip, which is this shade. Loved it so much that I had to run out and get the shade 1990. I actually went in store to purchase this shade. This is 1990. And if you guys watched my Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette try on Sephora haul, that Sephora haul, this is the lipstick that I have on. So this is 1990, it's a little bit deeper than Slip. Of course, I'll do um, arm swatches of all of these. And then most recently, I picked up Millennial. And I just hauled this maybe last week, the last haul that I did, basically. Uh, this is a very pretty, pretty pink color. Um, so here are swatches of all three, so you can compare. So we've got Slip on the left, 1990, and then Millennial. Now, the reason why I love this lipstick is that they are a lightweight lipstick that's actually in the name. They're the signature lightweight lip lipstick, but that they literally have like light pigmentation, very, very light. They're like a really kind of, I don't know, like a beefed up tinted balm. They're a little bit more than just a tinted balm, but they're by far like a far cry from like a highly pigmented or like just a normal kind of cream lipstick. And I love that, you know, I think we're always looking for like highly pigmented things. We want color payoff and all of these things, excuse me. <clears throat> but I just like a light lipstick. Maybe it's the mood that I'm in, maybe it's the season, um, maybe it's just, it's this particular formula because they do feel very balmy too, but they're just easy to wear, easy to apply, and I, I just love them, I love them. And a lot of the colors are out of stock. These are the only three that I've been able to come across either online or in store, and I'm keeping my eyes open for other shades to come into stock because every time I talk about these, I feel like I get, at least a few comments recommending uh, different shades in the uh, in the lineup. So yeah, I would love to probably eventually collect all of them, but yeah, just love it. The formula is just really, really wonderful. And so those are the Merit Beauty Signature Lightweight Lips. Um, and that's another very like recent discovery. A not so recent discovery is, I did wanna mention the Westman Atelier iPods. So there are uh, three and she came out with two at once and I just, you know, I had to run out and get the third one when it came out. So the first two sets that she came out with were Le Jour and Le Nuit. And in Le Jour, there is a shade that you guys have seen me apply, use, talk about, bring with, bring with me on trips like everywhere. And it's called Tabak. And it is this metallic peach shade. And look, I panned it. If you guys watched my staycation vlog, I actually panned it while I was uh, at the Aria. I stayed at the Aria here in Las Vegas and I brought, you know, a few things. Of course, I brought this and yeah, I panned it. I don't pan a lot of makeup. That's not uh, a goal of mine. It's not, it's just not what I do. I have so much makeup. So when I saw a pan, I was like, oh my God, I can't even, I can't remember the last time I hit pan. So anyway, this reminded me that I wanted to talk about or I should talk about these iPods in this video. So Le Jour and Le Nuit, those were the two that she first came out with. And then I ran out and purchased the Rendezvous iPod set. And this is the one that has Bone Chance in there. And this is like a khaki, like olive green. It's really, really pretty. So these don't have silicone in there. So the formula is definitely very unique. It's very different. I feel like most makeup at this point has some sort of silicone in there, but these are silicone free. And so it's definitely a texture that you have to get used to. Um, but once you kind of like warm it up, if you either use your finger or a brush and you really kind of like work it in, and I'm not saying like jab it in there and like stir it up or anything, but if you really just kind of start to work it in there, you pick up or you start to pick up more and more product. So yeah, it just takes a little getting used to, but I really, really love it. I, I'm not really into, as you can tell, not really into things that are overly pigmented. I like being able to build things up. I like being able to like work with them and like layer things. And these are perfect for that. And I actually have champagne which is part of the, I think it's part of the Le Nubi set. And then I have Chocolat from the uh, Le Jour set, uh, basically on the like outer corners of my eyes. And yeah, I just love that you can use a brush, you can use your finger. They apply very lightly, but they're buildable. I love like the subtle sheen 
that the frosty ones have. So there's like different finishes and all of these. Anyway, I love these iPods. I've talked about them quite a bit, but I just wanted to mention them in this video. And since we're on the topic of Westman Atelier, I should mention the super loaded tinted highlight. Now she has four shades in total now, and she started with a uh, Peau de Peche. And Peau de Peche is actually what I have on my face today, but let me just show it to you. And of course I'll swatch all of these for you as well. Um, I was a little bit confused, I guess you could say, when I first came across this product. I just thought it was so beautiful. I loved the shade. I was like, ooh, it's kind of metallic. I'm gonna get it. And then I wasn't exactly sure how to use it. Is it a blush? Is it a highlight? And since then, I feel like I've realized, for me, I need to consider it as sort of an extension of my base. So I like using it to kind of build on my foundation. Um, so I basically, when I use this particular shade, I will put it like all over my cheek and up my temple as a sort of starting point for any kind of bronzer, blush, or highlight that I'm gonna put on. So that's what I did today. And it just adds this beautiful, beautiful sheen. You can see it in the pan here. And this Peau de Peche shade has like a silvery kind of sheen to it. The second shade that she came out with that I, of course, ran out and got <laughs> was Peau de Soleil. And it has like a golden uh, metallic to it instead of the silver. And this is because of my skin tone, um, and it being so light, I probably wouldn't be as generous with this particular shade as I am with the Peau de Peche. So this, I probably focus a little bit more where I would contour, you know, on my cheeks, like underneath blush and like up my temple a little bit. And I would be a little bit lighter handed with this one. Um, but it's so, so gorgeous, especially in the summertime. If you're looking for a bronzy golden kind of look, this is the way to go. Um, and then she came out with Peau de Rosé. And this is one that is pinkier, as you can see. And this, I, again, I'm not quite as generous with this as I am with the Peau de Peche because this is uh, light and bright. I do like to focus this a little bit higher than say like the Peau de Soleil. And so I'll layer this just on my cheek where I highlight up my temple. Um, sometimes I'll lay this down, actually any of the shades, I'll lay down um, on my eyes. So, so beautiful. So this one, the rose color is definitely cooler than the Peau de Peche shade, but the um, like metallic sheen in there is more of like a champagne. It's not exactly silver, silvery or golden. It's something in between. And there's actually little teeny tiny micro glitters in there. This one is like the, the loudest, not that it's loud, but it's like the loudest one out of the four. So that's Peau de Rosé. And then Peau de Sante, is a little bit deeper. It's kind of like the summertime version of Peau de Rosé. It's a little peachier, it's a little warmer, and oh, it's just stunning. It's just stunning. So here are the four shades swatched on my arm. You can see the differences, I think, probably a little bit better. So we have Peau de Peche, then we have Soleil, then we have Rosé, and then Sante. So I am sitting here you know, waiting with bated breath to see if she's gonna come out with another one. The Peau de Sante she just recently uh, released, but I am really hoping, I don't know what shade I'm hoping for. I think maybe like a lighter, uh, like a little bit of a lighter, cooler tone version of Peau de Soleil, maybe? Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna, no matter what it is, I'm gonna buy it, I'm sure. Um, so, those are the Westman Atelier products I want to talk about. Oh, and one of my friends here on YouTube, Kate the Grey Beauty, she did this video and she actually talked about this next product and I was like, oh my God, why didn't I talk about that product? These are the Victoria Beckham uh, Satin, what's the full name? Satin Kajal Liner. And um, I first purchased, I believe bronze is the first shade that I got. And again, I'll swatch all of these for you. I freaking love these eyeliners. I love them pretty much. They were sort of my first love before Hourglass, the Hourglass for your waterproof gel eyeliners that I've been loving. Those um, are a little bit harder to remove. Those are a little bit like kind of set down crazy where you can't really smudge them out too much, where you can really smudge these out. These do set down, but they take a little bit longer. I would say that's the difference. They take a little bit longer and you can actually work these out a little bit more. Um, and in terms of shades, I love the Victoria Beckham shade range a little bit more. So most recently I got the shade Olive and that was also another reminder that I needed to talk about these in this video. So let me go ahead and uh, swatch the five shades that I have. I thought I had the blue shade, but I can't, 
I can't find it. I can't find it. But I thought I had six of these in total. Anyway, here's five of them. So first we have Bordeaux, bronze, cocoa, olive, and sea gray. This sea gray shade is so, so gorgeous. I, I love it so, so much. So yeah, I just love how smooth they go on. I love how you can smudge them out. And I do like that they eventually do set down, um, but they're not quite as like, like concrete on the eyes as the hourglass is. The hourglass ones really, really don't budge. Um, these will budge like a little bit, but really not much. I don't find that I end up with like raccoon eyes or anything like that. Um, so those are Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Liners, love them. And then another product that a friend of mine uh, reminded me of, so Stephanie Marie, she is a fellow YouTuber, I'm sure you know her, she did this video as well, thank you so much, Stephanie Marie, and she talked about the Chanel Ultra Tenu Duos, is that the full name? I'll link them all down below. But anyway, these are basically like the liquid lipsticks from Chanel. And I fell in love with these. I did a whole live stream where I applied this lipstick and it's like, it's a duo. So you apply the color and then there's like this clear gloss, which is almost like the setter in this whole situation. So the color actually ends up being very sticky and kind of like a weird texture. And then you have to put this like clear gloss over it and it sort of fixes it in place. It's like a fix in. So I did this live stream where I tried one on, I like put live, I applied it, the whole thing. And then I ordered a greasy pizza and I ate the pizza and I kept dabbing my lips and none of it came off. This is completely budge proof. This is probably the only, I'm not even gonna say probably, this is the only completely budge proof lipstick in my collection that I enjoy wearing. It is phenomenal. So I have 10 of these and I know I started with probably just one because I wasn't sure about its staying power and I can't even remember how I came across these. I think it was actually at the boutique and then like every time I went into the boutique, I would just pick up another one, pick up another one. I even took a trip to Houston a few years ago. I remember I went shopping with a friend, picked up a couple more. Anyway, I, I love them. So these are some of the nudes that I have. I picked up this like mauve shade that has like a little bit of a metallic sheen. Um, and I will show you swatches of these as well. And then I picked up a whole bunch of deeper, <laughs> deeper reds here. Now, I don't know because Chanel does that thing where, you know, some of them are limited edition and when it's limited edition with Chanel, it's like not coming back. So I don't know if all of these are in stock essentially, but anyway, here are the swatches of these lip colors and this is from left to right. So we've got 166 Timeless Beige, 397 Mary Rose, 69 Tender Beige, 112 Chic Rosewood, 47 Daring Red, 158 Intense Blueberry, 180 Passionate Red, 182 Light Brown, 162 Intense Cherry, and 184 Intense Brown. I will say I like the lighter shades in this formula more than the deeper shades. The deeper shades, they do eventually like even out, but they they can look a little bit streaky if you just kind of like apply them quickly. Um, they take like a little bit of work. So I do just want to mention that, but I love, love, love the formula. They are insane and I cannot believe how they just don't budge, but they're so comfortable. It's like insane, it's insane. So anyway, those are the Chanel Ultra Tenue Duos, I think that's the name. And then I wanted to share with you something from Sisley. So these are the Sisley Vito Lip Twists. So these are their, they're basically like a tinted lip balm, which you guys know I love. And they just come in this great like chubby pencil form, so easy, they, you know, raise up and down. And I got this shade. Yeah, I think this, I purchased this, I mean, this is so many years ago, I should probably replace this. So, so many years ago. Um, that I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I got this shade, which is number one nude, um, fell in love with it, and then started to fall in love with those bright coral shades. So went out and purchased number seven, and then I purchased number 11, which has a little bit more of like a warmth to it versus the one, and again, I'll do swatches. And then I got this number 15 as like a free gift, held on to that. 
And then this is where I did get some PR. So Sisley sent me their newest shades, and this is months ago, but they sent me 24, 25, and 26. 24, I have been wearing nonstop, and this seems to be sold out everywhere, so I haven't really been linking it, and I've been wearing it like in my vlogs and stuff, so I haven't really like, you know, talked about it or whatever. But this shade is so gorgeous. This is actually probably gonna show up in my favorites. I can't remember the name, Beige Rose maybe is the full name. But anyway, it's shade number 24, and I love it. So here are the swatches of the seven shades that I have. So we've got one, seven, 11, 15, 24, 25, and then 26. This formula is incredible, incredibly comfortable, incredibly moisturizing. All of Sisley's products has you know, they have botanical extracts in there. It's very, very good for your skin. They're very nourishing. I mean, they're just wonderful. And I love the shades and I love, it's almost like the Armani Lip Powers. Like I just love like the delivery system of them. That doesn't make sense. The form factor of these. I just love that they're this like pencil, this chubby pencil it just makes them so easy to use. So once I picked up one, I was hooked. I had to go out and get all the other shades that would work for me. Um, and I feel like there's probably more that I need to pick up <laughs> because they do have quite an extensive shade range and they've even come out with uh, like a matte version. So anyway, those are the Fito Lip Twists from Sicily. And then the last product I wanted to mention are the Guerlain Meteorites. Now, <laughs> how many could you possibly get, Michelle? Well, every time they come out with like a limited edition version, I actually have uh, two shades from just their regular line. And um, I'm, I'm just gonna show you, actually I'm gonna do like some B-roll here of my powder drawer because I didn't wanna take out all of my meteorite. It's a lot and I don't wanna go through it. And I'm not going to swatch these because they're just powder. Anyway, <laughs> this is the medium from their regular line. And I actually have not demoed the meteorites for you in a long time because it's definitely a step that I don't do every time I do my makeup, but it would be the last step. And I like using this as a finishing powder. So if you turn over the case and just shake it a little bit, you'll basically like break up the pearls. And what I like to use is the Sonia G Buffer Pro brush. Now, I am not able to achieve what I want to achieve with the meteorites without this particular brush. There's something very special about this brush. You guys have heard me talk about this combination a gazillion times, but this, well, let me just show you. So I'm gonna pick up some of the product here. And what I like to do is I'm just going to, I'm gonna apply it here because I have highlight here and so it's hard to tell or differentiate between uh, this and the highlight. So I'm gonna basically like lay it down, down here. So I'm going to stamp the powder. That's how I like to start. And then I take this brush and I buff it. And I have equated this technique to give me the result of like polishing a marble floor. It is unbelievable how smooth and like the sheen that you get right here, I hope I'm like tilting my head enough because I can't see, but it gives you the smoothest, most like flawless kind of sheen. It do, it's not like highlight, it's not like there's any micro glitters in there, it will appear so, but once you buff, you kind of buff all those micro glitters away. It's like one of those marble polishing Zamboni machines like in those commercial buildings that you see. Ugh, un. Believable. That is why I love the meteorites because this is what you end up with. But I just, I just love them. I just think they're so pretty. I love the scent of them. And so every time they come out with, if I can get my hands on it, cause sometimes they're hard to get my hands on. Every time they come out with like a limited edition or special edition or holiday <laughs> edition, I have to run out and pick them up. So anyway, that was the last product I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Uh, let me know what some of your products are down below, like some of the, your like products so good you had to run out and get more. I would love to hear from you. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.